Welcome one and all, Navigator EX here, and welcome, no third impact please. Resident Evil Director's Cut, what am I doing? Aside from waking up, uh, and wishing your grandmother a happy 65th. <laughs> Meant to do that yesterday. Ah. Oh, boy. Ah. Weirdly long day here. Ah. Director's cut. Where were we last week? There was a spider with stripes. Thankfully, that spider is done. Please no more spiders. Please no more spiders, Resident Evil. Just, just be cool. Ugh. I'm hoping this stream will go well. Okay, so, um, odd thing I found out yesterday when playing around on my PS3, looking at, at games I have, and uh, dicking around trying to find past purchases. So I'm playing a demo of Marvel vs. Capcom Origins, because I didn't get the full version in time. And so one of my controllers behaves incredibly erratically. One of my controllers has the left joystick always slightly in the up position. And then we have this controller, which was one that behaved erratically. So I'm hoping very well that this controller works right. It's worked right so far. Ah, Italian takeout. Uh, it's always nice when they get the orders right. It, it's it's sad that seems less common than it should be. Oh, you you and your mom made a cake. Oh man, I want to hear this. I want to hear what kind of cake this is. Delicious cake goodness. <coughs> oh. Ah, where was I? Uh, uh spider. Ah, here we go. That's right. Okay. What do I got gear-wise? 27 shotgun shells. <laughs> Way too much food. Ah. And feel that today. Uh, let's see. Let's grab a first aid spray. Just one. Where are my mixed herbs? I have plenty of mixed herbs. You know what? Let's put a first aid spray back and just grab a mixer. Why not? I don't even matter. It makes much too, much difference, but yeah. Ah, too much food. It's nice to be able to say too much good stuff every now and then. Ah. Uh. Oh, snakes! Forgot this part. Le run. Ah. Uh. Ugh, nice sleepy Sunday, goodness. Okay, where were we? Uh, is the lab accessible? I hope it's accessible. I uh, can't really comment too much here. I've been poking around on odd gaming chores on my end. Uh, looking up my... Am I headed the wrong way? Oh no, I, I remember. I remember. I was poking around on my 360, trying to get all my 360 games downloaded. Looking at my th PS3, trying to figure out if there's anything I needed to download on there. I've got a couple of old external hard drives I'm probably going to have to sort and organize. I'll probably clear one out for reasons. Uh, get all the games I can together. Snickerdoodle cake. Okay, snickerdoodles are in a weird place for me as cookies, but that, that's something that sounds way better as a cake. Okay, white cake. Brown sugar cinnamon mixture. Oh, nice. With some cinnamon buttercream frosting. Okay, that, that sounds good. Which is saying something, because I hate white cake. But that sounds like a kick-ass white cake. There are, some, there are things that can be done to white cake to make it good. Brown sugar, cinnamon, and buttercream would would kick that... That would that'd kick that into, into... Oh, locked. That'd kick that into overdrive. 
Okay. Oh, that's the thing about the level whatever emergency. Oh, man. <clears throat> and now I'm going to have a rolling stone stuck in my head because of that brown sugar. Ah, snickerdoodles. Of course, I've had kind of negative experiences with snickerdoodles as a cookie, but it's like because of getting crap recipes. I mean, I knew what was up when I had those snickerdoodles. You can't just make a snickerdoodle by taking a sugar cookie and dipping it in cinnamon. That was someone's lazy idea of a snickerdoodle one time. I'm like, eh. But it's the kind of thing, you add, you add cinnamon to white cake, it's like, boom. Instantly better. Oh, shoot, where's my phone? Because I'm going to need that for reasons. Uh... And bonus points on it being moist. Oh, man. Uh... I'll probably try another snickerdoodle recipe at some point in the near future just to... Oh, wait. Oh, boy, naked zombies. I thought they were done. I thought I'd... Oh, hello. I thought I got rid of the naked zombies. Is this save before that? Eh. Good to hear everyone enjoyed that cake, because that actually does sound pretty badass. Oh. Ah, your grocery store had snickerdoodles. I don't think I've seen snickerdoodles at the local Walmart, and I have yet to check Ingles. <coughs> hmm. I need to look around for some more baked goods. I hear another shambler around here somewhere. Okay, who's, who's the wise guy? Where you at? Oh, there he is. Uh? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Just wanted to clear this hallway out. I probably don't need to do this with all my shotgun shells. I just wanted to have a path clear. Um, oh, I've got to remember where uh, where I went last week. Was it here? Oh, that that doesn't look great. Hmm. Okay, I've got to remember where I went. Uh, I think this is the door. Okay. Uh, i got to find Jill, too, for those MO discs. Ah, this is the place, because there's some hints and or clues that I needed to get. Happen to see red letter media's... Okay. Oh, man. Bruce Willis's movies over the past few years. Yeah, he's been, he's been kind of phoning it in over the past few years. I have not seen the video, but now I really want to. Because there was uh, one that involved him being like a space marine fighting an alien invasion. He just looked bored in the entire trailer. Uh, God, what was it? Omega something? I don't recall. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Back a little bit out of the way the, the picture. And, ah! I do believe I have all three MO discs. Alright, one moment. I gotta take a quick snap. of this puzzle in this state and there's another state to t see it because I want to say it, it does something else okay where's the ah here we go as soon as I find Jill I'll go fish those MO discs out okay this is with the light out I believe that I have to do this okay cosmic sin that's what it was uh, where did I get Omega anything from? Too dark to see anything. Gotcha. Okay, I was thinking I had to do that with a light out for some reason. Ah, oh, man. Cosmic Sin. He just looked so bored. I'm like... Okay, here we go. Uh... Okay. <coughs> oh... Because I love Bruce Willis' is, is his movies that I've seen, but he has made some stinkers over the years. I went back 
uh, about, I want to say, two, three years ago, I couldn't remember Hudson Hawk to save my life, so I went and watched that. I... I want that two hours back. Um, passcode panel, don't have the passcode. Okay, so this is a dead end. What is that green thing? Is that just a light? Uh. Yeah. So one door electronically locked, one door passcoded. Cosmic sin. Uh. Like there's got to be a porno somewhere with that name. <laughs> oh god, if he's getting if he's getting spoon-fed his lines, that's that's I don't know if that's better or worse, but wow. What are you? Phone? I have a feeling there's something on that table that I just forgot about. The electronically locked. I think I know where to go for this, but I'm probably wrong. <coughs> oh, man. He's done so much over the years. I mean, the whole... I remember like owning a owning or co-owning. Oh, these assholes just keep coming back. Gotcha. A, a hard rock cafe locked from inside. Gotcha. Okay, that's what happens with the zombies. Power room tightly locked. Okay, so these guys are just gonna keep coming back, presumably from that hole in the floor. Oh man. Okay, we got a, another room. What the? Ooh, the thing in the floor. Slide cartridge. Will I take the slides? When is the last time I saw those in real life? Oh, man. Let's see. Used to open electronic locks. Will I turn it on? Not yet. I've got to get the hint up. Ah, uh, the naked zombies. Oh, I couldn't remember if I'd killed them and they respawned or what, but hey, if I die, I know not to clear them out unless I need to blitz through. Let's see, file. Okay. Uh, scrapbook, no. B-jolt. Huh? Researcher's letter. Is this the one with the... Ah, this is the one. Okay. Password is your name? Okay. Eh? Photos! Eh? Uh. That's one. And then... Okay, because I know I'm not going to remember that. Ada and I think John are there. <clears throat> are their names? Okay. I'll read this one, one time real quick. Maybe it'll click when I get to it. Okay. System login with his name. So login with John, the password Ada. Unlock the B2 visual data room. John, Ada, and then another password. The code to which is below. Okay. Okay. John first, then Ada. Okay, I was right at the computer. Okay. Oh man, big old chunky computer. It's like a. It's not a gateway. It's not got the cow print. Oh, that's so good though. Ah, oh, that's so good. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Ada. Oh man, I don't know what's better, the fact that he, that that sound is so so authentic or the fact that he's he's that's he's like the slowest typist. 
He's the slowest typist ever. That's great. Let's see. Was that B2? Alright. Permission denied. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because I'm not sure what the password is here, because I got all, I got the hints, though. Okay. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. Man... Okay, so this is gonna be a bit frustrating. Man, what's that vertical fish? This M. O. Uh, I think that's gonna be L. L. E. Mole. Okay. Cute, cute game. Mole. Let's see. Day before your grandma's birthday. Ah, Beat Sin and Punishment 2. Oh, Disaster Day of Crisis. Oh, man. Ugh. Yeah, Chris, he's just... Redfield here, he's just like dolphin flopping his hands... On, onto the keyboard, and I'm like, we can already see the the workings of a of a boulder puncher in the making <laughs> with the fist pump. <laughs> oh my god! This is a guy who watched the movie Hackers and thought it was a documentary right here. That I love this. This is so dumb and it's so great. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Uh, well, anyway, all those doors should be locked now, I think. Uh, that probably leads now to Jill being up on the docket soon. What we got in here? What are you? Explore all the things! Oh, man. Chris Redfield at Typing of the Dead. Oh, man. I haven't, I haven't seen enough of that game. Ah, there should be more games that require the keyboard on consoles. Then maybe... Sony and PlayStation, or maybe Sony and Microsoft would get it through their heads. It's like, come on, enable that shit. For more than, like, two games. Okay. Nothing special. Don't think there's anything else in here of note or worth. Got the slides. Various chemicals used for research, but they're not useful. Gotcha. Oh, nearly beat Sin and Punishment. Okay. Oh, man. Three difficulties for the true ending? Oh, that's brutal. Arr! Piss off! You ass butt. Uh, hmm. Arr! Arr! Move! Okay, don't want to waste too many shotgun shells. What's my health like at? Uh, that's one, one improvement I'm going to be grateful for in the upcoming games. Like... A different physical stance, walking and running animations when they're injured. Oh, man. <coughs> Let's see. So I've been in there. Up, 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 oh. Is this locked now? It's electronically locked. Oh, no. Passcode. Don't have the passcode. Okay. Bleh. Beating games on multiple difficulties. To unlock their secrets. That's that's so brutal. Uh it's not un unmanageable though. Oh. Oh shoot. A little hard to get gauge distance there. Ah, uh, I wish I could remember. It seems like there was something I mean, other than the Resident Evil games beating these on their higher difficulties to unlock some things. Uh oh, that's the room I was in. Gotcha. Oh. Shit, I just <clears throat> respawn. They deal slightly more damage than naked and then regular zombies. Okay. 
So, Raditz was right. Nudity is power. Locked from inside. Oh, boy. i go back this way so I only have to... Violence my way through one zombie or dodge him, as the case may be. Okay, that way's... Okay. Man. Ah. Oh, no score requirements, though, at least. Just, just beat the game. That's good. That's good. <coughs> I forgot what was in here. Ah, the slide projector. Here we go. Neat. Okay. Let's see. While I'm thinking about Sony and Microsoft, yeah, I was way off on that 70 million that Activision Blizzard got bought for. It was 70 billion. I mistyped that, so I'm going to throw that out. It's just funny, though, because Sony has bought uh, Bungie for some reason, and... Uh, 3.6 billion. I'm just sitting here imagining Microsoft. Someone execs from there just sees Sony and be like, Yeah, look what I did. And be like, Ha 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 ha, go play. Just pat him on the head. Uh, not even buying them for exclusives. I don't, I don't know. It's in the panel. Oh, there's a big red button. Uh, there's a button. Of course I have to press it. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, your score gets reset to... Oh, that's some old arcade punishment there. If you had to have, like, a set score for that, just... Just damn. That would be bad. Okay, that is a lab key. Okay. Ah. Uh, intercom doesn't seem to be operative. Okay. Okay. Mr. I wear my sunglasses at night comes up. Okay, let's get this projector in to use... I Bull. Probably not facing it well enough. Uh. Yes, yeah, Sony, though. Uh. Hit PS2 Classic. Oh, man. Can't wait for Sony to do that uh, HD ra remaster of Marathon. Uh, Oni. Oh, man, that would that would, um, that would would be a deep pull, too. Man, I, I remember seeing the cover of that and being like, hey, this looks fun. <coughs> and then I didn't look at the back and I just forgot it existed. Like, damn it. <sighs> okay, slides. Umbrella Incorporated Bioweapon Materials. MA-39 Cerberus. Let's see. Oh, man, I wish I could read those letters on the top part. FI-3 Neptune. MA-121 Hunter. Oh, man. Nice to have some better pictures. They almost look hairier here. Oh, boy. T002 Tyrant. Mmm. That one claw looks like a crab claw almost in this shot. I don't know how it's supposed to be in this game. It's been a while since I've played this, so. Mm. Okay. Also, good on Tyrant. He had two lines going up next to him on a graph. Good job. Whatever you did. Oh, God. <laughs> that photo. Oh, there's just like a little bit of a ring around the head. It makes it look like his head... It makes it look like he's just shopped in here badly. Let's see if I can full screen this real quick. To see if it, it's overlapped by the stream a little bit. Yeah, just just right around his head. It almost looks like he was just... It looks just cheesy enough. The, the lighting... <coughs> okay. Part of a project going on to do a machine learning upscaled. Oh, that would be nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm just nerding out over the picture of Wesker and his fellow R and D staff members, the Bioweapon Research Institute. 
Ugh. It's like they just had to change the light angle on that a little bit, too. I, I, I usually never notice stuff like that. That stood out. I'm kind of dense when it comes to things like that. I don't really... AI upscaling for Resident Evil 1. I would be very glad to see that. Because, I mean... This version, HD remaster, I'll take it on either. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this, too, real quick. Just, just to save having to... Having to... Use the mixed herbs. Due to the other end... Uh, Keanu Reeves. Damn it, I missed him. Ah, oh, man. I missed him. Now I kind of want to go back and look at that photo again. Ah. Okay. Every other door that I can think of is is blocked. All right. Let's let's check this. I don't check items well enough in this game. I really don't. Strange mark is carved here. A mark very similar to one I saw in the in the power room. Also, I should have nothing important. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go check that photo out real quick because I want to see this early Keanu experience if he's still on the projector. Oh man. Yeah, the lab door, I'm pretty sure I know which lab door it is, too. I'm going to pass by a pair of zombies to get to it, because it's got a symbol on the floor that matches the key. I actually remembered it somehow. I don't know. Oh, boy. But yeah, another thing that came up with the... Okay, Keanu. Let's see. All the way at the other end. There's another actor he kind of reminds me of, and he's been in a few movies. He um, was in the first Ghostbusters movie, and he played that, that sleazy journalist in Die Hard and Die Hard 2, an actor by the name William Atherton. And uh, <coughs> this guy kind of reminds me of William Atherton, the guy on the far left. Uh, the brow line, I don't think his eyes are quite big enough, and the nose is a little off, but... Yeah, he's giving me a William Atherton vibe, so I automatically want to taser him. And welcome, Blind Archer, yo! Ah. And what was I saying, though, about this bungee, though? The bungee acquisition, though, there was some other stuff that, that caught my eye on it. Not so much the fact that Sony bought bungee, whatever, companies buy companies all the time, but apparently uh, they're working on a new IP and a company by the name... NetEase is attached alongside, and uh, I, I recognized the name NetEase, but uh, I couldn't remember from what, because I don't play mobile games. <laughs> like, hardly at all. Um, so I looked up NetEase, and they are attached to a crap ton of odd-looking mobile games, and Diablo Immortal. Ooh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, the the brow line. I will say the eye and brow line. That that's a good pick. That is a good pick. So I guess the guys over at Sony and Bungie do have phones, because hey, uh, that reeks of money play. Oh boy. Hello, gentlemen. <coughs> I wonder how many of these zombies respawn. Eh? Hey, shotgun shells! Like the ones I keep wasting. What is that? Oh, there's a ventilation duct. That doesn't scream urgent at all. Let's see, grab this. Ah, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Loved that Sherlock series. Oh, wait. Do I need to push this button in the floor first? Or? Oh, I think I see what's up. I push that stair thing there, and I'm going to need to, to hustle. Oh, whoa. Controls. Oh, why am I so bad at tank controls? 
discussion about possible good RE cast? Uh, no, but that would be pretty awesome. Although I... No! Get, get off the thing! Uh... I didn't mean to step on the button. Um, that RE movie that... Has that movie already come out? Uh, I missed it if it did. But, um, yeah, I saw the red herb. I'm gonna grab it in a second. Because I took my green herb early like a dumbass. Uh, that was on me. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, yeah, I think it did come out, like, September was when it was supposed to come out. Yeah, okay, I, I forgot about that movie entirely. Damn it! I wanted to see that! I'm gonna have to watch that movie. But, um... Yeah. So we got... I keep losing my train of thought. Why, why does my brain want to do this? Um... Oh, I see what's going on. Huh? Am I going to be able to stop the gas... How am I going to manage this gas? I've got to push that one on the right up and then over, I think. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to do, think of how to do this without triggering the gas. Yet. Hmm. How far do you go? Hmm. Uh. But I I do like their pick for Chief Irons in that movie. Just from the the stuff that I've seen him in, Donald Logue, I can't comment on his his role in that movie, not having seen it, but uh, I thought at the outset he'd be a good pick for Psycho Cop. Ah, uh, crap. Might actually have to trigger that gas to get this party started. Er, no, 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 no. Please don't trigger the gas. Oh, wait. Move that over. Ah, hell. Wait, can't climb up on that, can I? Ah, there's the gas. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Ah. And you mentioned those AI upscales, though. I'm eyeing that Zelda um, PC port. A uh, group, I think, by the name Harbor Masters is responsible for a uh, porting effort to put Zelda Ocarina of Time on on PC. And, uh, hang on, I want to see something here real quick. I don't think I can push this one from there because of that lamp. But, I can push it back over. It's fine. Uh... Yeah, they apparently got it like 90% of the way done, and they don't have any of the game's assets in their their porting effort. So, I guess, yay. Uh, it makes it a little harder for Nintendo to, to take it down. But let's face it, it's Nintendo. They're going to try no matter what. Um, a little further over the way. And do the thing I did before. I didn't give myself enough room was my problem, I think, before I can move this step out of the way. Yeah, they're looking at maybe a release by April 1st, too. It's like my favorite Zelda game. I, I have to keep an eye on that. I'm I'm wanting to see... You talk about HD, um, like... AI-enhanced... Uh, texture packs. I would love to see that for for Zelda because I mean if it's if it gets dropped on PC, it's going to be that much faster. I'm sure there's something on Dolphin. Uh Zelda with pre-rendered backgrounds. It's something I never think about, but yeah, they're absolutely in there. Okay, let's see. 
Aha! Suck it, gas! Oh, man. Uh huh. Huh? What? Uh, game, don't screw with me on this. Okay. See, I was worried there for a second. There's an air shaft. Will I enter it? I hope so. Oh, is that an ink ribbon? Because... Oh, even better. I am so bad at the puzzles in these games. I really am. Uh. Oh, what are you? You look important. It's a passcode output machine. If I had a MO disk, I could get the code. If I had like three of them, I bet I could get all the codes. Unlocked it. Nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, yay! It looks like the zombies are just gone for a moment. They buggered off. <coughs> Where is an item box? I feel like I'm gonna have to go all that way back for an item box, aren't I? Ah! Yeah. Oh! Oh, good. I don't have to go all the way back. That's that's better. I was worried. Let's see. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, I got all three of them. Uh, where's the Python ammo? Magnum rounds. Maybe I should switch to the Magnum for, for a minute. Uh, combine. Whoop. Use a map? I really need to. Uh... Hey, I'm using my phone more. Uh. Let's see. I'm curious whether I should switch to the Magnum or just stick with the shotgun. Let's see. 18, 20, 5 rounds of shotgun ammo versus 24 Magnum. It's even. It's about even. Uh, let's see. Grab a Green herb. Blue herb. I'm going to combine and use all these real quick and then just... Go on ahead and top off. I know I don't need to do the blue herb. I'm just... Satisfying my OCD. Because... <laughs> Hey, I can make a full thing, and I'm this late in the game. I don't know that I even need all that blue. Uh, and if I do... Whoops. iPhone ammo. iPhone ammo? I mean, maybe it was the Samsung... That, that note. I still wish I'd gotten that note grenade. Oh, man. And Blind Archer, if you hadn't already seen... Uh, the last stream, or maybe it may have been the stream before, for clarification, this is no longer on a, on a, a range mode. I did go back and redo the game up to the point where I left off on original mode. Because I wasn't going to roll all the way back to the beginner and feel like a complete piece of crap, but I did put it back on the difficulty, the normal one it was supposed to be on. So, I'm not going to sit here and claim I got, like, that much better. Ugh. But this game just, uh, it's, uh, it's worn out its welcome, I believe. Because of the difficulty thing. That was my mistake, it was not the game's. Ugh. I should probably grab some ink ribbon and save him a minute. Ugh. Just to be safe. Okay. Let's see if that shaft is reset. If it's reset, then just... Nah. 
I passed by the door that had that room. I didn't even need to come this way. Uh, this is where I need to... This is where I need to use the map more. Just focus. Eh? Uh, and while I'm thinking about Nintendo and Nintendo stuff, so apparently the uh, Switch has finally outsold the Wii. <coughs> I didn't think too much of it at first, and then I remembered, oh shit, like the Wii, there were, there were all of those Wiis everywhere. They were just, just Wiis all over the place. So it's now Nintendo's best-selling home console ever. I mean, I... I would have thought then the Super Nintendo was further along, but you know, I I never remember who has the sales numbers. So I looked it up on Wikipedia. Nintendo doesn't have any other consoles that have sold higher. They have a couple of handhelds uh, that I think are currently higher than the Switch. Uh, the um, Game Boy and Color, the Game Boy Color series. And, uh... Oh, can't see my own note here. And the DS family. Like, the combined family, apparently, is counted as one thing, which... I thought was a little bit cheap, but, you know... They're mostly... Cross-compatible. Passcode 2? Um... Okay. Oh, we getting biblical, okay. Passcode 2 has been filed. Okay, can't use it here. What? I hope there's not other ones of these that I missed. Place seems to be a morgue. Hmm. Can't imagine how that, that came about, but, you know... Uh, the Steam Deck Mercy Blow. We'll see about that. I'm, I, I really am interested in seeing how that goes. Because <coughs> people just generally want like a thing that you can just drop in and play. But the counterpoint to that is the Steam Deck is really starting to look a lot like that. Okay, what are we doing? And if the Steam Deck is easily enough uh, run if, if it is, is is just drop it in and go as it's looking and has the, the compatibility it's, there's compatibility lists going going up for it like oh I think the Steam I think the Steam Deck's definitely going to give the Switch a run for its money when it starts oh there's one of those things upstairs okay thank you that one on the little desk at the end of the hallway, I bet. And one more deeper into the lab, okay. Okay, let's see, what are we doing? No? Uh, that's just a phone. Urgh. And if it's not just a phone, I'm gonna find out. Oh, man. I'd like to see some more performance stuff on the Steam Deck, because it looks really nice. Oh, uh, boy. Phone and operative. Hmm. Or was it in the room with... Hmm. So that phone's not going to do it. Oh, Steam Deck handling emulators? Anything up to Nintendo 64, it's bound to just... just destroy, so, uh... It's the things past that that are gonna be of interest. Uh... Wanna see how it handles latency on anything there. Oh, boy. Didn't think so. Didn't think this was gonna be a thing. Uh... I'm going to go too much further back because I don't remember anything that looked like that uh, in any of the earlier rooms. Maybe that one room with the, the computer and the useless chemicals? Nah, that's not going to... Okay, ladder here. If if it's not by this entryway, then I'm coming right back. Um, 
And speaking of emulators, one of the things I was uh, doing going through my game collection, I wanted to see the different copies of... Okay, no, it's not back this far. I was thinking there was like a table or something out here, so no. I was going back through my uh, games, see which uh, versions of Resident Evil Code Veronica X I had. I have it on PS4 and Xbox 360. So when I get to that point, I had that choice to make. So uh, on doing research... Uh, I see your expectations on that thing there, Blind Archer. Uh, I would I would be absolutely stunned if it didn't run all the way up to Dreamcast um, emulation pretty smoothly. Um, PS2, I don't really know enough about PS2 emulation to really comment there. So I know they've had issues in the past and it's it's getting better all the time. But, um, I don't know, I'm in, that, I'm in that wait and see holding pattern on there. Xbox, I don't know shit about no Xbox emulators. So I have no comment on that one. But it's definitely got some, some hardware grunt, because apparently it can run several modern games at acceptable frame rates, so it'd have to have some decent processing power for it. So it's definitely going to be, like, a really versatile machine. Electronically locked. Passcode panel entered. The passcode. Okay, so that's one. God hand on the go. Oh, man, so many games. I'm wondering how quickly and easily interchangeably SD cards are going to be in that. Because I, I watched the video teardown. I can't remember anything about it, and I need to go back and look that up again. Ah. Uh. Overheating? Hmm. Absolutely a concern. Okay, there's nothing in here that's... This was the morgue, right? Ah, uh, yeah, this was, I think, the morgue. Yep, morgue. Backing out. Because if the if the SD cards are like hot swappable, that would be kind of great to have your uh, PS2 game collection on like SD cards and just be able to drop a batch in and pick from them a little more freely. I don't. Okay, no. Wait, let's check this room. See if there's one in here. Hmm. Nah. Because honestly, if I got to the point where I got like a Steam Deck, I would be very interested in uh, dumping a bunch of my games onto an SD card. That and apparently is supposed to have a dock, so... Okay, there's that door. There's a, there's a room I'm... I'm missing or forgetting the room where I got the the right input the John and Ada puzzle. Map, real quick, this map. Just refresh my memory. Okay. Locked, locked. Okay, that's the morgue. Is it upstairs? Hmm. Now that's the projector room. And that's the exit. Oh, my brain. Even if I use a map, I have such a horrible sense of direction. It's it's kind of the joke of my name. So, uh... Oh, I'm trying to remember the room's shape. Okay. I'm looking at the morgue. Uh... The room with the gas... Oh, uh, boy. Exit. 
X and Mech Assault 1 recently became playable. Hell yeah. More mech games in more places. That was, I think, a morgue. Power room. Which room was the power room? Ah, what the hell. Blech. Oh, a save room. You know what? Before I waste any more ammo and or time, I've gotten enough progress and enough ink ribbons where I think I can justify a quick save right here just to just to cut time down for any future mistakes. Because, I mean, let's face it, it's me playing, so... Bleh. Oh, man. Let's see, that was where I started... Eh? Yeah, Switch versus Steam Deck. And that's the thing, the Switch versus the Steam Deck, that's going to be the more heated competition, but there's there's other things in that that kind of form factor. There's other machines that I've seen uh, pop up in the past. And I'm... Oh, what are you? You, you more ink ribbons? Oh, more magnum rounds. Yes, please. I'll just deposit those real quick. I missed those entirely. Uh... Eh. If I run out of ink ribbons and run out of time to stream... Well, thankfully, I'm not so bad that I'll likely run out of ink ribbons. If I did that... Eeeh. Because I've got eight ink ribbons for this last portion, well, seven left of this for this last portion of the game. If I ran out of ink ribbons and thought that that was going to be a continuing concern, I swear I'd just emulate. Just emulate and safe state and just be like, to hell with it. Because <laughs> I'm completing this game. I don't know if I'm completing it today, but I'm going to get a lot closer. Oh, that's a sound. Hello. Glad I saved. Ah! No, 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 no. Bad touch. Bad touch. What are you? Ah. Uh, huh. Uh, no, no. Okay. I need to check my health now. Uh, caution. Gotcha. Move. Okay, probably shouldn't have aimed up for that one. Oh, God, you guys are so weird. Uh, no. How do you... Oh, reload, right. Please be dead. Oh! Weird bastards. Well, at least one of them's dead. What the hell was that? Okay. Okay, I'll give this game some credit for surprising me. Is there anything else in here of note that I need to grab or take a peek at? Just, it'd be weird if they just introduced this room and there's nothing to it but like a hallway. Ah, you bastard! Eh? Nope. Okay, danger. Oh, boy. I thought the spiders were bad enough. Now we got man spiders. Ah, I'm wasting so much ammo on them. They have... Their recovery is just, like, ridiculous. Their recovery animation, they're invincible. They're in the, it, it just seems too long. How's my ammo? Oh, no. I'm going to have to switch that magnum even sooner. This is why I saved. Oh, what are you? Power panel. Some areas do not have power. Let's do it. Activate the blacked out areas. Oh, man. I probably should reload my save. I've got that magnum, but we'll see. 
Okay, so this is done. This room is, I think, over with. I have to come back to this room. I'm just going to note my way through it like I probably should have done in the first place. Woo! Well done, Resident Evil. Actually surprising me with... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, hey. Ammo disc thing. If I had an ammo disc. Like this one. <coughs> oh, God. And if they respawn, then I'm going to be greatly disappointed. Passcode 3. Where the... Oh, boy. Passcode 1. I got... No, 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 no. Nobody loves you. Weirdos. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Ew. Ew, you're so gross. Ah, no, no. It's like that is the thing that Valdo is striving to become with his every Soul Calibur appearance. What are you? Power connection switch? The elevator power is off. Will I connect it? Indeed I will. Alright. Ha! Ah. Even Man Spider on Spider Man was less, less icky. Triggering system. I'm quite triggered by weird man spiders. Whoa. So what was I saying a minute ago about uh, uh, currently fine for health? So yeah. The different versions of Resident Evil Code Veronica X. So apparently the version on No! No! On PS3 and 360 it's a full... Oh god, they just wiggle at you. They kind of do a shimmy wiggle with their run. Okay. So, PS3 and 360 have a full-on remaster. Apparently, it's done in MT framework. They give you full widescreen, better textures, but it's largely... The, it's pretty much the same game. PS4, on the other hand, what they did, I'm led to understand, was just drop the... PS2 game into an emulator. It's in 4.3. You don't get widescreen. Uh, from what I've seen, that, that appears to be the case. There's not really any effort to... Uh, you know what? Magnum. Uh, I hate doing this so early. This feels wrong. I'm probably going to have to reset anyway. Oh, uh, boy. And grab another mixed herb. I have no complaints about the 4.3 to 16.9 thing. It's just that my display is a 16.9 display. So for display purposes, um, I would prefer the content be the same aspect ratio as my display. I don't like stretching and I don't like black bars. So, mm. okay. Let's use that map real quick. Okay. There's a room at the end of the hall. <coughs> okay, so that's an elevator, I believe. I should backtrack to check those doors were... Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead. That other mixed herb. So, the version of Code Veronica X I'll be playing, I have pretty much made up my mind, will be the 360 version because of my layout here. I mean, see these black bars on screen? Uh, if I were a bit more prepared, I would throw some little odd graphic in there to fill that out, but I, I never remember that. Okay. Combine with the gun. Equip gun. Have gun will travel. I need to find that other passcode machine before I progress. So I'm not going to go the elevator yet. I need to get my bearings and find that other passcode machine. If it's further down, then I'll find it. That's the morgue. 
This way had a bunch of locked doors in it. Okay. One that required the passcodes. Okay, that's... This is the room with the projector stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so the room I'm thinking of is not here. It's outside. Oh, man. Electronically locked. Boo! Damn it, game. Oh, uh, living things. Here's hoping the things are alive long enough for this to be really powerful against them. Okay, so the room I'm thinking of is... Are you the room? You're not the morgue. Ah, this is the room I'm thinking of. Okay. Is there a passcode machine in here? Because I wanted to scratch this off my list. I feel like... I feel like I'm missing one. Just... Okay. Computer is used to open the electronic locks. I already used it earlier. Bleh. Hmm... Oh, well, we'll see about the whole thing with the other ammo disc. Because I want my saving a saving Jill ending. Alright, back this way. Oh, boy. Then every news site in the world is... On the story about Rockstar confirming that Grand Theft Auto 6 is in development, it's like... No power! What? Oh, here we go. I'm like... They're confirming the thing that... Oh, her. Yay. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. <laughs> I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. It's behind that door that's electronically locked. I know I opened that door earlier. I'm... I should... Well, I, obviously I didn't. If I just tried it and it failed. But I feel like I used the machine and it said that the electronic lock was... I don't know. Maybe it's on a timer where I have to get to a different machine. I don't know. Chris... As my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. <coughs> what do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars. Oh god, he's gonna and shoot me with a VHS tape. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Vigilantes! Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah. Like this. Oh, snap! VHS! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. It must be a copy of E.T. before they put the flashlights in. Now, walk. Don't run. And... That's a big dude. I bet he gets all the candy at Halloween. This guy is the reason I was saving Magnum Ammo. That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. He has his heart on the outside. Chris. <laughs> 
Stop it. <laughs> Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. I mean, he's got a delicious crab hand, but his heart is on the outside. Two of those valves aren't even connected to anything. He's just kind of there. <coughs> it's like, what the hell? After having a heart attack, you can just drop an aspirin right into there. Just like, boop. <laughs> How's this guy's deal? He really needs a tan, but that's a... That's a Naira here over there. Jill will join you too. What? Don't oh, he's talking way. shit about Jill. No! We know we know what Tyrant's about. Jill is bay and you can go to hell first. You can't kill me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh shit, I didn't have the I didn't have it equipped! How close am I? Okay. Uh Victor is mine! Okay, what's the what else is in this room? Okay. Okay, T-Man. Okay, what we got? What What a miserable death. Yeah, you shouldn't have talked shit about Jill. You, you had Tyrant under control, and then, you know, you just had to say that. You know, that's 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 it. That's exactly what happened. That's my head cannon. <coughs> control device for this room. Door lock switch. Yup. Okay. Inspect Wesker's body now? Okay. All it's saying is what a miserable death, so... I'll, I'll check Tyrant's body in a second, because I gotta go by there. Eh. Did have a key near him? Let's see about Tyrant. I don't know. Uh. Ah, well, it's worth a shot. Uh, some of the part layout, the item layouts are different between original and arranged mode, and I... Uh. Wow! Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Lot armor brand. Hurry up. Bulletproof How jackets. Get out of here. Sleeping with the ultimate failure? I didn't see Carrot Top in there. <laughs> I would never say that to Carrot Top's face. The man looks like Blanca. Ah! I'm sorry, Carrot Top. Don't kill me with your electro ball. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the Tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. <laughs> Justin Bieber, oh man. We're do it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. That sounds less like he's talking to a fellow police officer, more like he's talking to the beaver for some reason. Ugh. So she, while she sets up us the bomb, I'm gonna go check on that room that got unlocked. Oh, Justin Bieber, I try to forget him so hard. Ow. D I O. D O D A. Jinkies! Uh. Oh, 
Please, no more douchebags. No more weird, wibbly bastards. Why are you electronically locked? Why are you electronically locked? Any reason to conserve ammo now? I mean, not really. Uh... Okay. Uh... Trying to think. Uh. One moment. I'd hate to be like one door away from getting this this ending. Uh, just trying to open this up on it because I kind of want to finish this up today now. Because I mean, look where I am. Uh. Uh, triggering system. She had to... Maybe there's a key somewhere I need? I know there was a thing that said to... <coughs> Alright. Wesker planned to be stabbed by the tyrant. Oh, man, I did not remember seeing that. Oh. How do you plan to be impaled by that? Okay. Come on. Uh... Oh, game FAQs. Uh... Just skimming game FAQs real quick, see if I can find the, uh... Okay, come on. Who's... End of Jill's walkthrough? Screw Jill's walkthrough. I just want that one door open. Okay. Chris's walkthrough. Uh, Snake Underground Lab. Uh... Let's see. I gotta go back to the John and Ada room. Okay. So, where was that? Oh! Oh, one moment. I've lost the chat for a second. Okay, I'm back. I gotta go back to the... Okay, looks like I'm back. Oh, boy. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's my ISP or my router, but my router's kind of a POS, so it, it's probably, it's probably my router. It's being, it's been being a dick lately. Huh? Okay. <coughs> okay, so this, it, it said to unlock all the locks here, so let's, let's see if I, if I do the thing. Well, I turn it on. Yes, Windows prompt, gotcha. Oh boy. I hope the lab destruction's not on a timer because it's not visible if it is. Okay, I'm gonna visit this machine one more time. Let's see. Also interesting, a keyboard with the uh, ABC order. Oh, and of course I'm still doing it the other way. Eh. Yeah, thankfully I think this might be just a little too early for ME, so they're they're good there. I think they're safe. Okay, this is on. I bet I didn't unlock B2 and B3. Okay. All right, Chris, flap your little hands to unlock all the things. Be the master of unlocking. 
Okay, so that one's unlocked now. Basement three. He's just whacking this damn... Fist pump! Okay, cool. Vaguely remember seeing a PC in some game that ran on Vista. Oh. <laughs> I want that to be the Halo 2 Vista port so bad. Uh. Anyway, while I'm backtracking and kind of doing stuff that I should have done like 30 minutes ago. So, Babylon 5. I've stalled on Season 4. I'm going to get back to that very shortly. Uh. Oh, this asshole. No, 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 no. Don't you... Don't turn around. Um... But yeah, I want to finish that series because apparently <coughs> there is a reboot effort that is actually going forward. Um, there have been reboot efforts for the series in the past, and I'm like, I hadn't heard of them. I didn't know. Oh, hello. Any other takers? Hello. Huh? Let's see, what are you? Facts. Uh, General Manager, Special Committee on Disasters, Memorandum Strictly Confidential, must be destroyed as soon as understood. Gotcha. Regarding T-Virus, this committee conducted field survey. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to skim this, given what's going on. More than half the researchers di died due to exposure of T-Virus. Ah, so that means some of them weren't, didn't die. Yay. Uh. Security system still in operation. Guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Wah, wah. Research information. Uh, top secret. Subjects from the experiment who escaped and are out of control. Gotcha. Okay. Curious coincidence. Events are proof of the success of their research. Okay. Condition very serious. Cover that shit up. Gotcha. Yeah. It's like... The thing is, I remember from watching it when it was on TV that um, Garibaldi is being a dick for a reason. I I don't remember what the reason is. It kind of... It's... it's It grates on me to see Garibaldi being such a jerk, but he's he, there's a plot reason for it, and I know. So I'm... What's my take on it so far, though? I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I like it more than Deep Space Nine. I love me some Next Generation. It's definitely up there now. Oh. Use what am I doing? Uh, it really does handle um, station affairs a lot better than the Star Trek shows. I think handle their ship and in Deep Space Nine's case, station affairs. So uh, there's that. You have so many interesting characters. They're very well handled, and it just it just keeps on with the whole just bombarding you with plot threads, but they're still coherent. They're still good. It's great. And I'm glad Mom, Mom got that DVD set. Ugh. Because now I can finish watching it. Ugh. Global and galactic policy? Yeah, that too. Because, hell yeah. I mean... They barely touched on that in Star Trek. It's like Deep Space Nine, you had um, the Cardassian War, them and the and the war with Bajor. They, they touched on it a bit, but it almost seemed like window dressing. It's like, we, we have to have this war so that we can talk more about our characters. It just seemed like it was downplayed a little bit too much. Babylon 5, it's front and freaking center. <coughs> oh god, Jill Sandwich. What is this music here for? Are you there? Chris? Jill, you're all right. Ah, uh, yes. Wesker is here. He's a dick. Gotcha. Oh, I know. Anyway, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. It's like, yeah, Wesker's in. Let's, let's go. Let's roll. Oh, man. Yeah, so the touching love theme of Resident Evil there. Just, what even? <coughs> what the hell was that? What was that, game? 
Okay. Let's get going. I thought that's what we were doing, Gel. All right. Oh shit. Where's my? Why is my Magnum not equipped? I know exactly why it only has two bullets in it. I don't. I don't need to figure that one out. Ah, boy. Makes me wonder where the series was going with those two's relationship at the time, what, what plans they had there. Because, as we can tell by Biohazard 1.5, plans change. Waifu, Jill, Rebecca, or Wesker? Ugh. Let's see. No Rebecca, she just, she irritates the piss out of me. Oh. Let's see, zip by him. Thank you. Say one bullet. Ah, uh, favorite Resident Evil character out of here. Jill's pretty solid. I love the line reads on Chris so much. Let's get going. Um, quit saying to do the thing we're doing, Jill. You know what? You know what, Jill? Just for that, you just made the, you just lost the list. Barry's Barry's best. Barry is best girl now. <laughs> okay. Let's see, where were we? Uh, grab another mixed herb. Why did I do that? Magnum rounds. You know what? And shotgun. Just pull the shotgun out for a moment. Why not? Uh, green. I don't have any more red herb, do I? I? Of course I don't have any more red herb. I just blew it earlier. Uh, shotgun, shotgun. I can't remember where I, where I dropped it. It's in here, though. I know that. Ah, here we go. And one more healing herb. Why not? Uh, 21 magnum rounds, four shotgun shells. Oh, keep one slot empty? Okay. You know what? I'll just use, I'll just use the healing thing if I screw up. I'll do that. Won't need the shotgun. Alrighty. Okay, Jill, Rebecca, or Wesker, though, out of those three, Wesker's pretty fun. I like him more. He seems more interesting a character from what I've seen. So I'm going to go Wesker, to be, to be honest, out of those. Rebecca has some goofy line-reading madness, so she's, she's amusing. Jill, I haven't heard enough of her dialogue in this version of the game to say anything other than, Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! Let's mosey! Let's hustle! Ah, oh boy, here we go. In case I screw up really badly, three, three Healy Dealies. So yeah, out of those three, Wesker wins. Don't say it, Jill. Oh god, I've got to get better. Oh, hello. There we go. Will I take the battery? Sure, why not? Okay. I it said something on the side of it. I missed it. Okay. Those strange creatures. He knows what those strange creatures are. Nightmare creatures. Ah, battery's pulled out. Go ahead and. Whoop. And speaking of nightmare creatures, the Bloodborne remake recently released. I might do it for a one-off. Oh shoot! We noticed. We couldn't... Let's go now, then? Oh, man. Game, that's mean. Starting the timer and having it taking down when I'm not controlling anything. 
Uh, Wesker. Ah, oh, man. But it's just good to know that Wesker does get out. Eh, it's a long distance relationship. <coughs> oh, what are you? Oh, that's a box. And that's a flare. Yes, I will take that flare. Uh. Do I have to fight the tyrant here, is the thing? Let's see, radio? Nope. Does not work with Duck Station. Nah, she, nah, she made it in, in Unreal Engine. The coder. I, uh, I remember it being she who made it. Uh, but yeah, whoever it is, they they made they made a great uh, looking show of it from the from the beginning, and it's an Unreal Engine. It's a PC executable, and I am very interested in seeing how that runs. how that works. Its control setup, though, is to emulate how the PlayStation would have been pre-DualShock, if Bloodborne had been released before DualShock. Oh, shit. Uh. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. It's fine. It's still fine. It's less fine. Shit! You have a freaking combo system going? Okay, I gotta dodge to his. Yes, this. I could. I could use. Monsters. Barry, you better not be flying drunk up there. Um, Brad. You know the guy who's not Barry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The R launcher. Oh. Arr, equip. Use. Ah. All right, you crab claw bastard. Looks like crab season's in. Eating good in the neighborhood, sucker. It's officially 90s now. Oh, God. Go back another 30 years for that one. Oh, man, now the place is covered in farts and the MacGyver's starting. Oh. <laughs> Quit! Throw her out! It's the only way! And then they all crashed and died the end. Oh, man. And there were no more Resident Evil games, and the zombies, n they never left the mansion, gotcha. Oh, my God. Resident Evil Director's Cut. <coughs> what are these names? Come on. Can you even give us the full names of the cast? Hey, son. Oh, boy. <laughs> Chris pulls star scream on Rebecca. Oh man. You are an inadequate stars member. I will lead the team in your absence. Never, Redfield. Oh god, what's next? I'll probably have some kind of one off or something between this and Resident Evil 2, because uh, actually I might go back and do Resident Evil Zero because I grabbed it. Um No Jill Root, I did Jill in the Resident Evil HD remake a while back, and that's why I started with Chris on this one. 
So I am not doing Chris Arranged. Just no, never. I am not coming back to this game. No, 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 no. Arranged mode kind of ruined me on it, it's, to be as honest. Uh, so the rundown on that. Um, yeah, Resident Evil Director's Cut. This is a pretty good game, to be quite honest. I made the mistake of starting on arranged mode, not knowing what I was doing going in, and the high difficulty just kicked my ass and made me so, made me all of the sad. So, late in the stream, I go back, I replay up to my then progress, and play it on the normal, original difficulty, <coughs> and everything's fine. But, overall, opinions on this game, uh, yeah, I love the sound. The sound design's great. I'll take the frumpy tubas and all. And this music, what is this music? It's good. It's good, I'll take it. Although, right there, I was kind of waiting for, like, Lassie to come running down the hill or something. But, uh... And then we switch into a Star Wars fight scene for some reason. Uh... Music's... <laughs> Was it, though? Was this music composed by Samuro Gochi, though? Really? But, uh... Oh, hunters! <coughs> oh, the hunters can go to hell! They are manageable on uh, original difficulty. They are the thing that killed arranged for me. Because when you come into a room, there's one of them there, Fine, dodge by him, maybe maybe shoot him, you don't have to kill him. Two of them there, don't get stun locked if they pile up on you, otherwise they're manageable. Three of them, just do not engage, get out. Four of them, you're dead, unless you're, you know, a speedrunner or something and really good at it. So just, hunters can go right to hell. Whoa, I hate those hunters in here see them in later games, I'll be more than willing to take a, take a peek at them. Ah! The Man of Megas! Keiji Inafune. And we got Shinji Mikami. I'm getting names I'm recognizing, yay! Like the enemy designs, I forgot all about those those weird, weebly little Spider-Men. Uh... Boo! I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. It surprised me all the way up until the last hour of the game. Characters are great. The mansion layout's great. I just have no sense of direction. Oh man. And I love these credits. These these are the most movie theater ass credits. I'm loving them. They they got their style down. They knew what they were doing with this game. They knew they were making a B-movie you could play, and I would... Even though visually it's it has not aged well, I would recommend this game to anyone who has, for whatever reason, never played Resident... Nine saves, ha! <laughs> 6.45, I'm like, this is like, I think, my 14th stream of this. Probably more like four times that I've spent a day of my life on this game. Ugh. What a tough guy. You've closed this case completely. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They did not know that... that, that 2021 was happening. Ah! Sword and stylish combos. Oh, yeah! So now we've got the special key for the normal playthroughs. <coughs> oh, boy. Harold Ramis. Yeah, that didn't... I did look a bit like Harold Ramis. Ah! He wouldn't be afraid of this nonsense. Well, very good reason why you love RE1 more than the other games. Oh, I want to hear this, because I loved me some RE2 back in the day. So I, I can't wait to get to 2. Although, pretty sure I'm going to go to 0. Uh, because that's... I've never played Zero. I grabbed it in the Steam sale uh, come the holidays. Double check that I have it real quick in my Steam library. Because for some reason I'm paranoid about missing things. 
I don't know. Let's see. Scroll down to the R's. Oh, not Dragon Ball Xenoverse. That's not it. Uh, yeah, I got Resident Evil Zero. Okay. Run through the game again in two and a half hours to get that infinite rocket launcher. <laughs> no. I would love the infinite rocket launcher. If I had this as a physical copy, I'd, I'd game shark that shit at this point. Because I will say the difficulty's a bit soured me on this. If I play this game again, I'll probably just stick with the HD remake. Okay. Let's see. RE2 had to introduce a boogeyman? Hmm. Right. Birkin. Forgot about that whole <coughs> business. Oh, boy. Because they come here and it's just monsters everywhere. What are we doing? Um, what's going down? And then in the later games, you have, like, single oppressive threats. Oh, and obviously Mr. X. I forgot about Mr. X. Uh, I, I think of it as kind of different flavors. I mean, you have... You have uh, oh, boy. I was trying to think of a good example of it. I'm, I can't think of a good example of this kind of thing. But yeah, you have the uh, overall messed up situation, and then all of a sudden, a new thing has been added. It's like you go in expecting... For the for the new returning players, you go in expecting zombies, and then all of a sudden, this dude with a really awesome hat and co cloak shows up, and you're like, what? I mean, that was kind of my take on it when I was playing, too. I can't speak so much for later games. Um, plus, I liked the characters in 2 a lot at the time. I can't say more than this one, really. Um, I'd have to go back and play 2 later to really comment on that one. Because um, this is my first playthrough of the original Resident Evil right here. Rocket launch here. Uh, the only thing that kept Saints Row Gat Out of Hell being playable to me was having that that recliner. Yeah, Resident Evil 2. It's a solid game. You go into a place with a big, messed up situation and you have like a final boss. You have a few big bads throughout that are just bosses, but overall, they stuck to their B-movie guns. You have the zombies, you have the monsters, you have running for your life. I can't really complain there. I just picked the wrong difficulty. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off real quick, though. Uh, next week, I don't know what, what I'm going to do. Um, <coughs> I kind of want to take... Uh, time for a one-off. Um, Saturday I'll be back with a bit more Metal Gear Solid 3. Hopefully it won't be quite as slow as yesterday's stream was. I'll, I'll admit that was, that was a bit slow. Um, so Sunday will be something. I might, I might fire up that Bloodborne demake. I'm not sure. Uh, and then after that, Resident Evil Zero will be next. I see you have an idea there, No Third Impact. I'm listening. Don't forget to raid. One moment. Perfect Dark Xbox Live Remaster. No, but I have Perfect Dark Zero. The <laughs> sequel? Prequel? Question mark? Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's see. If you have any raid suggestions, I'm open to those. Uh. Because I'm trying to think of something. Oh boy, someone's just watching the Charlie the Unicorn stuff on the front page. Uh. Oh, oh please, microphone, play, play well with me. Okay. Oh, Bloodborne PSX has its own cha own category on Twitch now. Okay. Also, I should thank you again, Blind Archer, for um, pointing me in the direction of that Biohazard 1.5 stream. Because watching the st the game break late was it was a bit it, it made me sad for the guy. Because you know, have to go to all that trouble and then it breaks. Oh, 
Caperlux Strings Ocarina. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. You know what? Caperlux it is. Okay. And... The raid has been created. Alrighty then. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. I'm going to go on ahead and pop off. I'll be back Saturday with Metal Gear Solid 3. And Sunday was something, I'm strongly thinking, the Bloodborne demake. But whatever happens is going to happen. So take it easy, party people, and raid now! See you around, hmm?